Hey guys, Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove an image from a background. Also, since I have done this video in the past, what the, the main reason for this video is I'm going to show you how to remove the little white that is left, or black, whatever color it is, left around the, um, the image. And this is done because of um, just how it's cut out. But it's really going to be corrected, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So let's go ahead and grab this image, and let's open up in Photoshop. So once we have this image opened in Photoshop, the first thing that I'm going to do is grab my, oops, grab my quick selection tool. And let's just go around the outline. You can do either or. Like I've said in my videos in the past, you can either um, do the outline, the, out, the, the background, or you can do the, the uh, image. I like to do the background. Now all these hairs, I'm not really worried about that because I can bring that back. So pretty much it looks good, just overall looking at it. Um, these you want to go in and, and correct that also, but I'm not even going to mess with those little pieces. This is just a video to show you how to get rid of the little white edge around the image. So what you do next is you want to go to Select, Inverse, and that selects the subject. I just do it that way because it's easier for me. Now we're going to go to Refine Edge. And let's go ahead and make the background black. All right, so the next thing, you can see already the white line all around the subject. Then that's what we're going to get rid of. So the way you do that, you just follow the same steps. I click on Smart Radius, and I just make it about 7. Okay, that already made it a little smoother. Um, now to adjust the edges, what I want to do is you come down here to shift edge. This is what's going to get rid of that white. So you just grab your shift edge and move it to your left. And the more you move it to the left, the more that white line disappears. It's very subtle when it does this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feather that a little bit to make it more even. And bam, it's gone. All right, so now to fix the hair, all that you have to do is um, grab your, uh, it's already select, selected. Um, what you do is you just come right around here and just go around the edge of the hair. I'm using a mouse for this, so and that is not the best product to use for this, but it's just, I'm doing this really quick. And it was basically just to show you how to get rid of that little white line going around your subject. So you just bring this around and it will bring back the hair as you can see. Uh, you know you can you can feather that to however it is that you want but um, let's bring this, move this up just a little bit and so that's how you do it. So after that's done you just click OK and then what you want to do is Command Shift I to invert it and then Command D to delete it. Nope, no, I'm sorry. Um, you know what? Maybe I should just do it this way. Delete. Oh, why are you doing that? That's why. Delete. There we go. <laughs> uh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then Command D to de deselect the marching ants. So that is how you do that. And the way that we know that the little white edges are gone from around the subject. You just go ahead and grab yourself a new layer, put it underneath underneath your original layer. Uh, make sure black is your foreground color. Grab your um, paint bucket tool. Paint bucket tool, where are you? Oh, go away. Paint bucket tool, and do that, Mama Gemma. You can see that the white is gone from the edges. And you can fine tune this however you like. This is just a quick dirty tutorial on how to do it. Since someone did ask me on how to do that. So there you go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, stay tuned for our next uh, video. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.